Aloha and welcome to Life Journaling and Dash for the 28th of May. Today we're looking at Proverbs chapters 7, 8, and 9, and also Romans chapter 9. I'm David. This is my lovely bride, Yuvella, and thanks for joining us for Life Journaling, where we do daily devotions about 10 minutes long. Today I'm calling this one, Words Are Valuable. We're going to make you rich, spiritually, hopefully. That's the game plan. You, you're laughing? Yes. Well, the title was Words Are Valuable when I wrote it earlier today. I understood your humor. Oh. Or your attempt at humor. Yes. Yeah. You want to pray? I was thinking if I had two cents for every time I made you laugh, we would be wealthy. We are wealthy. Two we cents. Have God. Is, just be two cents. Why don't you pray? It made sense to me. Anyway, <laughs> Father God, thank you so much for opening our eyes to you and your wisdom. Uh, may this time together just encourage us and grow us and prepare us to meet others. Amen. Amen. Do you want to go first? Sure. Okay. Mine is from Romans 9, 18 through 21. Therefore, God has mercy on whom he wants to have mercy, and he hardens whom he wants to harden. One of you will say to me, then why does God still blame us for who is able to resist his will? But who are you, a human being, to talk back to God? Shall what is formed say to the one who formed it, why did you make me like this? Does not the potter have the right to make out of a same lump of clay some pottery for special purposes and some for common use. My observation. I want to address these verses because they are the ones that Satan will use to try to get us upset or question God. God is God and he can do what he wants. So when you read this, we may ask the same thing Paul mentions. Since God has already decided, why should we even try? He has made up his mind. Well, no, not really. In 1 Peter 3.9, it says that the Lord is not slow in keeping his promises, as some understand slowness. He is patient with you, not wanting anyone to perish, but everyone to come to repentance. God is love and wants everyone to spend eternity with him. However, he gave humans free will, free choice. I've heard people say that God is a gentleman and will not force you to accept him. Yes, God has made some choices that we do not understand, like why children have diseases or why are, are children born deformed or questions like that. We need to remember that Isaiah 55, 9 says, For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts. We will never understand God's choices. That leads us to two choices that we can make. First, we can accept what the Bible says about God and we can trust him and not go by our feelings. Or we can live with doubt and question God and live with discontentment and ultimately walk away from God. Well, I know which choice I want to make. My application, how will I be changed by what I read today? This verse has helped me so much, Isaiah 55, 9. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. I have realized I will never understand why some things happen. However, I trust God completely. I will choose to live knowing I do not understand why certain things happen and trust in my God. My answer to all those people who ask, well, why would a God of love allow such tragedies as this or that? My answer is, I do not know. I do not understand. All I know is that I do trust God. My prayer, Lord, thank you for bringing me to the place in my life where I do not need to understand. It is such a freedom to live a life where I trust you and know that you are faithful and true to your word. Amen. I think when we release our lives to God, it makes it easier in the sense we don't have to do it ourselves. And the best thing, as an example, would be like, once I knew I was not in control, God was in control, or I gave my heart to Jesus, 
years ago and accepted he was real, then whatever amount of money we made, that was okay because it was going to be God's money or what I owned was God's. And so that allowed me to have that uh, feeling. And so now when somebody is taking what I would say is a very uh, short time in their life, you know, they don't live as long as you would have thought, it's not the normal, then I, I have to give that to God. It's not always easy, especially if a child leaves before a parent. It's hard to understand, but then I have to just say, okay, Lord, I can't figure this one out, like you say. I don't have to. I'm going to give that to him. You know, we had a friend recently who lost her two children. They died right less than an hour after they were born. And I say to her, I don't know. I don't understand. I will cry with you. I will weep with you. I don't know why this happened, but I love you and I am here for you. And I think that once you realize that instead of questioning God, just saying, okay, Lord, these horrible things are happening, sometimes by people who do horrible things, I don't, un you know, I don't understand, but Lord, I trust you. It, it really takes this big weight off your shoulders knowing that, okay, it's all in God's hands and whatever he allows, it is okay. And the thing that I would share with everybody as well, connected to this, is when you have those times when you're feeling down, that's when you should be reading the Word, or if you just don't have it in you, then listen to uplifting music, or music that includes lyrics. And if you need one song, write to Yvella. She's got lots of them. But no, seriously, because it'll take your mind off of things a little bit better. When you have extra time, that's when you got to watch yourself. you got to guard yourself. And today, I'm talking about words are valuable. I'm pulling from Proverbs chapter 8, verses 10 and 11. It's kind of connected. Choose my instruction rather than silver, knowledge rather than choice of gold. For wisdom is more precious than rubies, and nothing you desire can compare with her. So they're saying wisdom is so much better. My observation... Here we have the advice to pay attention to God's holy word because having this knowledge is much more valuable than gold and silver. My application or how I apply this to my life and how I'm made differently by what I've read and listened to today is that of all the valuable things in this world that it has to offer, nothing is close to the value of wisdom. So step one, get some of that wisdom. It's valuable. Step two, get that wisdom and hang on to it. How am I going to do this? Well, I could read a little bit of scripture each day or listen to some songs with scripture in it. And I can use uh, my time to make some flashcards. This is me personally creating flashcards that will help me memorize some of the scripture because that's how I'm going to get it into my head and in my heart. And then lastly, by sharing what I learned with other people, because when you learn something, you retain it for a little while. But if you take what you learn and you share it with others, you're going to return, uh, retain. retain lots more of it. We know this because we have an educator's background, per se, and so we've done the research on this. It's one of the ways to learn, is to learn and teach you retain more of it. My prayer today, help me to collect wisdom and to be a good example for others. Amen. That reminds me of something we heard today in a video from Auntie Sylvia. And she said, quote, searching scripture is better than digging for gold. She was giving her testimony and um, just an impressive lady that loves God. But earlier in life, she was focused on work. Later in life, she went back to college at 60 to learn more. And, uh, you know, 60, wow, to start going to school when you're 60. But what did she say again? She says, searching for searching scripture is better than digging for gold. So tomorrow we're not digging for gold, but we're searching the scriptures of Proverbs chapter 10, 11, and 12, and Romans 10. Dear, would you close us with prayer? Lord, thank you for giving us uh, mentors in our life that we can uh, just learn from their experience, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for giving us your word so that we can uh, gain wisdom and um 
have those valuable words that you have given us that you it is you talking to us Lord. that is so valuable thank you for being there lord thank you lord for giving us this opportunity to share with others and hopefully encourage them on their in their walk with you in your precious name we pray amen